The close of the first century was a terrifying time to be a Christian. Believers were stoned, burned, boiled, crucified, and thrown to lions for their faith in Jesus. I'm Nate Siles. Let's learn more about this time in history in this final lesson of the Disciples Make Disciples course. The Apostle John, the last of the twelve apostles alive, was himself exiled to a lonely existence on the island of Patmos. It was in this setting that Jesus came to him with a special revelation. The last book of the Bible is filled with vivid and scary images representing the physical and spiritual dangers that threaten believers then and now. Those who twist scripture have taken some passages of Revelation out of context to invent all sorts of false teachings. But the message really is not that complicated. The message of Revelation is consistent with the message of the rest of scripture. Jesus says to his church, I came, I saved you, I will come again to take you to be with me. Despite the difficulties and the dangers presented by your enemies, take comfort, I win. As you think about sharing the saving message of Jesus, you may be as terrified as those Christians 1900 years ago. It's possible friends or family may abandon you or even reject you. You might face difficulties and dangers in your community that we are not aware of. To you, Jesus also says, I came, I saved you, I will come again to take you to be with me. Despite the difficulties and the dangers presented by your enemies, take comfort. I win. Let's review words from the book of Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 through 17. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they and where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, these are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve Him day and night in His temple. And He who sits on the throne will shelter them with His presence. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. By the blood of Jesus and through faith in Him, you will be there in front of the Lamb, robed in white. By God's power, there will be others there as well. What a joy it would be if some who are there, robed in white, in the presence of the Lamb, are those who have heard the gospel of Jesus from you. In your final live class in this course, you will review the four key concepts and the stories that go with them. You will talk with your instructor about your plans for sharing God's Word. And one more time, you will be assured that your Savior is with you. He loves you. He empowers you to go out in His name. May God bless the precious gospel message proclaimed by His disciples. <music>